Hello everyone, LD3, back with you for another video. Today we are back in the Newcastle career mode. Today we are taking on Wolves in the second leg of the Carabao Cup. Like I said last time, we won 2-0 in the first leg. So all we need to do is not lose by, what, by more than one goal. And we should be good to move on in this competition. So hopefully we can do that today and go to the final of the Carabao Cup. Okay, let's start this game off here. I saw before the beginning of this match that the winner of this leg, or the whoever moves on in this leg, will be taken on Spurs in the final. So that's going to be a great opponent to face if and when we do move on. Man, Wolves are playing really well to start off this game. I'm not enjoying this one bit. I'm not enjoying this, but a good clearance there. So yeah, that's what we are going to be up against if and when we move on. Having some confidence here by saying when. But maybe we can do well here in defending them, but they're offside. Good, okay. Not a good start for Newcastle here. Not able to get a good offensive opportunity, and it looks like Wolves are trying to attack pretty well. So hopefully we can get better opportunities offensively going forward. Okay, Mankio to Marino to Dumet, who is in today. Marino's also in today. Also, Tom Davies is in today. Right here, and he's going to take the long-range shot. Oh, a little too much time for the keeper to react there. If he was probably like five yards closer, he might have had a better chance if it was in the same spot. But that was a pretty solid shot there from Tom Davies from outside the box. Great effort. Now he just got to try to keep that same level of effort on defense and we got to get the ball away and it goes wide okay okay I am okay with that I am perfectly fine with that as long as we keep them to a clean sheet that's really all that matters so hopefully we can just keep possession going forward and win the match win the leg and the like aggregate that way oh no oh no that was not good but Jack Butland is there now let's counter let's counter Jack Butland we need to start countering here that is the plan right now because if we counter and we get a goal, then they're going to need to score three goals to even tie it up with us. So we need to start pushing forward and possibly scoring. But again, Brighton, it's not Brighton. This is Wolves, Wolverhampton. Why did I say Brighton? Don't ask me why. They are controlling the possession right now, which is not what I want to see. I want us controlling the possession. But now it looks like Wolves are controlling it, but we do have it right now. I like that. Matt Ritchie, let's get the ball to you, then to Tom Davies, then to Mitrovic, Mitrovic start running, Mitrovic start running from the edge of the box, good save, good save, but like I just said in that little ramble a few seconds ago, Wolves are absolutely controlling the ball right now, and unless, and the only way that they're not going to score is if we control the ball, because eventually they're probably going to score if we just keep letting them have the ball like we have been. But maybe if we keep controlling the ball just like this, we might have a better chance of scoring Tom Davies. Tom Davies. Tom Davies! Oh, missed opportunity there. Okay, at a time here. Wolves trying to make one more attack before the end of the half. We're going to try to have them not attack, but that was a good, that was a good pass, but Jack Butlin's there, and it is half time. I'm honestly getting a little worried because I believe... I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I believe that Wolves have a lot of the possession. Definitely more than us. Maybe if we can get a fact checker right here. Yeah, they have 55% of the possession right now. So that isn't good. Um, the good news is we haven't let them score yet. But the bad news is they have more possession than us. And we need to start gaining more of that possession so we can almost guarantee them not to win this game. So let's hopefully do that in the second half and let, and see if we can move on in this competition. Okay, we have Mankio on the outside. We're going to get Atsu running. Hopefully we can't. And this is exactly not what I wanted to see. What I wanted to see in the second half was possession, and this is definitely not what I meant by possession. And that might be a penalty. That might be a penalty. That might be a penalty, and it is. No! That was right on the edge of the box. And now we have just let up a penalty. Two wolves. This is not good. This is not good. No, wait, it was just outside the box. Oh, 
I thought that was in the box. I thought the foul was in the box. But instead, it's outside of the box, but we save it. Thank you, Jack Butlin, for getting to that ball. I appreciate your existence. Now Tom Davies, and now Atsu's going to be clear on the outside. Atsu, no, he's not. And now they have possession again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's a two-on-two, -two and I'm not in a good spot to get to him. Oh, no. Thank you, Jack Butlin. Please get it out one more time, Jack Butlin. You are our Lord and Savior. Thank you. Man. This is exactly not what I wanted to see in the second half. I wanted to see possession. This is not possession whatsoever. But that was a nice move to get it to Mitrovic. Maybe Mitrovic can get it for a goal. Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Score! Yes! Okay. Even without the possession, we still get the goal we needed. Now it's 3-0 aggregate. Oh, great counterattack from that last couple of moves by Wolves. Mitrovic just gets around everyone, pushes forward, hits it from the left side of the box into the right netting. Great goal there. Probably could have passed it off, but was able to take the shot before the block came in. Great work. Now it's 1-0 in the game, 3-0 aggregate. It looks like we're moving on now. I am very happy. Okay, here we are, 90th minute. Wolves is... Wolves are currently attacking, but it really doesn't matter. They need to score three goals in a time span of, like, two minutes. So it really doesn't matter. They do score a goal. The clean sheet is not meant to be. It is. It looks like it's going to be a 1-1 draw, though, and we are going to have a 3-1 victory on aggregate. We are going to move on to the Carabao Cup final. Exactly what we wanted to do, win some silverware in our first year. That would be absolutely amazing. We are taking on Spurs, though, so it's probably going to be more difficult. But let's make this official with a couple more touches. Touch and clearance. And let's end this game right about here, please. Are you really giving them one more chance? Are you really giving them one more chance? This is not right. That is not right whatsoever. Let's just finish this game off, please. What are you doing? It's been way more than three minutes. Way more than three minutes. I don't understand why they're giving him one more chance. Jack Butlin's going to get it, though. Let's clear it. End of game. We're moving on in the Carabao Cup to the final. Let's go. Okay, so our next match is another cup match. It's the fourth round of the FA Cup. We're taking on Middlesbrough. We are going to be at home for this one. So it's going to be very helpful to have the home field advantage. Hopefully we can get a win out of this one. Move on in the FA Cup too. Um, and one of our goals is to make it to the round, 16, round of 16 in the FA Cup. So hopefully we can get closer to that with a win today. Okay, let's start this game off strong. We haven't started off any game strong in the past like three or so matches going back to last episode we have not started any game off strong let's change that today with a good performance or we can do that and just give the ball straight to Middlesbrough that works too I don't like that I don't like that at all and now they are in the box why is Middlesbrough in the box to start the game but thank you Jack Butlin Jack Butlin knows how to play well he knows how to play and he knows how to play the goaltender position to probably one of the best in the world even though he's only an 83 overall but 83 overall for a goalkeeper is absolutely amazing um let's see if we can get one more attack going maybe we can get a shot with Ayozi Perez off the post I wasn't even trying to do that I was trying to pass it to Giselu but apparently it gets deflected straight to Ayozi Perez the, the circle button still had the command on and Ayozi Perez barely misses there decent start there for Newcastle hopefully we can get a goal in the next couple minutes, maybe with an attack right here. Maybe with a... No, he can't. Just kidding. Okay, Giselu's on the ball. We're going to pass it to Iosi Perez, who passes it to Mitrovic, and he's going to get deflected, but he's still in the box. He's going to try, and it just misses. Oh, man. What an interesting shot. And then Richie's offside. Richie's offside there. Oh, he was just barely... Oh, he was trying to get the rebound, but he was offside on the shot, so he was unable to get there. Opportunity missed. We probably had another chance to cross it in and score, but we were unable to do so there. Opportunity missed. Maybe we have still another opportunity here, though. Mitrovic to Matt Ritchie. We're going to cross it in to Atsu, and it misses wide. Dang it. Okay, 43rd minute here. We got Mankio running on the outside. Matt Ritchie made a nice defensive play 
on the other end, so that's why he's not there. But maybe we can get Atsu running right here and then take the shot. No! Oh! He was going for the ball, so I understand why that's not a foul. But he tripped me when the ball was already away. So that should have been an inadvertent thing and should have probably just been a foul and a penalty instead of... It probably wouldn't have been a card, but it was enough for a foul, I believe. Maybe, who knows, but it, right now it's going to be halftime anyway. We're getting the opportunity... Well, we had the opportunities early on in the match. Not a lot more going forward. Like, after the first 20 minutes, nothing really happened. There was one quick opportunity that really didn't happen... That didn't really come to fruition that much, so... That's a little disappointing, but we need to score now because I want to... I just want to move on to the round of 16 right now. So maybe we can just score a goal in the second half and do that. Okay, Matt Ritchie going to pass it off to Iozzi Perez, who passes it off to Breel Mbolo. Breel Mbolo, one-touch shot! That's a penalty! That's a penalty! Yes! Thank you! Thank you, referee, calling the penalty when we absolutely need it, and it's a red card. And it's a red card for Daniel Ayala. Man, finally, we get the opportunity we needed. We allow the penalty. Yeah, you went, you went for the feet, not for the ball there. You get the red card. Now they're down to 10 men, which is good. I like that. Iozzi Perez is going to take the penalty. So if we can score this and with them down to 10 men, that would be absolutely amazing. We're going to take the shot over here. We're going to put it up right here. Top left corner. And he saves it. No. How does he save it? What an absolute beauty of a save. How does he do that? How did the keeper do that? I don't even know. But that was a big opportunity missed there for Newcastle, but the good news is that, that Middlesbrough is down to 10 men, so our attacking should be a little easier. Maybe we can get another opportunity brewing right now with Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, cross and shot. No, not there. Dang it. Okay, Iozzi Perez on the ball. We're going to pass it to Atsu, then back to Iozzi Perez, then to John Joe Shelby, then to Matt Ritchie, then to Breel Mbolo, and then Giselle who's going to be open. Giselle with the one-timer in the net. Let's go. Great, great, great passing by the team. Giselle with the goal, 71st minute. Breel Mbolo with the assist. The sub comes in and makes a difference. Nice goal there from Newcastle. A nice little touch pass. To give Joselu the opportunity with the one-timer to just smash it into the left side of the net. Great work by the team to score the goal and get up in this FA Cup match. Let's go. Okay, corner here for Middlesbrough. Um, this is going completely against everything that I have mentioned before about playing good defensively to finish this game off. And that was not good job by me to keep the possession because we need possession to be kept in order to them not to score. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's just finish this game off strong. Let's just finish this game off. We are in the 90th minute. We just need to get one last possession brewing not give them the ball like i just did except iozzi perez makes a great interception there that's exactly what we need to do we just need to clear it away now we're gonna get deandre yedlin and we almost have something we do have something mike marino mike marino oh oh i thought we had the one last opportunity for the goal off the long pass to guarantee the victory but even with that, we do get the 1-0 victory. Iozzi Perez with the missed penalty, but Giselu with the deciding goal in the 71st minute, I believe. Great win for Newcastle. We're moving on to the round of 16. We have achieved one of our objectives by the owners. Great work by this Newcastle team. Let's move on. Okay, guys. So next episode, we're going to be taking on Burnley. It's going to be January 31st, so the last day of the transfer window. If you guys have any more suggestions for people to buy or sell, let me know down in the comments. This is going to be your last chance until the beginning of next season to make any offers for some players that we should buy for Newcastle. Um, we're, I'm in the works of trying to sell a couple people right now. So, something might happen, something might not. 
at this point, it looks very unlikely that anything will happen. It might just be a couple players sold to bring the profit up or something like that. But right now, that's what it's looking like here. And that will do it right now for me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop it with a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys with a new video real soon. Bye.